Okay, um, today I'm going to switch it up a little bit and um, I've made an extruder out of, this is a Home Depot, uh, made 29 ounce caulking gun. And um, I just figured somebody else might want to make one. So, um, what when you get the caulking gun, it's it's uh, just like this. There is a metal plate on the end of this where I have put in something different. So you back that off. It's just a it's just a screw in type thing, and I wish I had it, but I guess I threw it away a long time ago. Um, so. What you have to do to make one of these is there is a, on the end of this rod here is uh, it's threaded, it's already threaded, and this is a uh, threaded coupler goes on a quarter inch uh, rod. So I put that on there. I epoxied it on. I put epoxy on just the threads on the rod and then threaded this on there so it it's on there as permanent as I can get it with with epoxy anyway um, so that's that's the first step take off the plunger that would normally go in a one of these oversized caulking tubes and uh, put this coupler on there it's available at Home Depot also it's quarter inch uh, the next thing, this is, oh, there's one of the couplers. Um, I think these come in a package of two is why I have an extra one. So that's that. Then uh, your extruder pipe will be a, just a section of two inch. Uh, PVC and that since needs to be mine is 11 and 5 eighths inches long um, so you get that piece of PVC now you what you're going to find out is we're going to take a fitting like this which is a slip fitting with threads on it it's two inch also or four two inch pipe and it's got a step in the bottom of it right here <clears throat> so what you find is that this fits this fits very snugly on there and once it's on it's hard to get back off so what I did is I took sandpaper wrapped it around here and sanded this so it, it fits on there and you can still remove it very easily. Now you only have to do that on one end of your pipe if you can remember where it's at. So then I took a, a, a hacksaw and just cut the threads off of this. So I left about two or three threads but I cut it off. What I ended up with was this, <laughs> sorry, this piece right here and you can see where I've cut the threads off so it's just it leaves it leaves a step in the bottom for your die to fit up against um, so this is 11 and 5 8 inch piece of 2 inch uh, PVC pipe and this end is sanded slightly so that this will slip on and off fairly easily Okay, uh, we'll get into the dies in a second, but uh, so we got that, that's worth the tube. Finally, this is, when you buy this, um, this is a, what is size is this? Is that a, um, 
I have to do a lot of measuring here because I made this some time ago. This ends up one and seven eighths. It's a, what this is, is a test plug for a plumbing unit and it it comes like in a deal like this and you're supposed to drop this is for a two inch but that would not fit in my pipe which is odd but uh, oh these are made so they go in a coupling that fits on top and then they screw it in and then they pump air into the sanitary system to make sure that they don't have any leaks in the system. So this is what it looks like when you buy it, but in this rubber uh, gasket is bigger. But if you get the one and one and seven eighths inch, or yeah, one and seven eighths inch one, it, it looks like this, right? Uh, I had to end up buying two because I wanted this one side of these when you get them if, are flat but I wanted it I wanted a concave on both sides so that when I squeezed this down it made the rubber gasket bigger so bought two of those and you can see these have uh, dimples in them it's probably to save plastic. Uh, these are made by Oakley. Don't get the two inch one. Anyway, I filled, I, I, they'll work without filling these with epoxy, but then you have to try and get to clean the clay out of them all the time. So what I did was I filled all those dimples on mine with epoxy on both, both, both halves. So that just saves you a little cleanup time. All right, so then you have this little quarter, what is that? Is that quarter inch? Doesn't look like quarter inch. Yep, quarter inch, quarter 20. This is a quarter 20 carriage bolt. And it is I give you all the information you need here. This is an inch and five eighths. Inch and five eighths, quarter twenty. Alright, so to assemble this thing, this is this is pretty slick. You just put the the two red pieces, one of them has a uh, fitting for the uh, carriage bolt, slip that in there like that, put the two pieces together like that, a couple quarter, quarter inch uh, washers, and I needed that because my bolt was longer than it, uh, these are just spacers, really. So, now we're back to our caulking gun. And you can see that quarter 20 uh, coupling on there. So I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do this one-handed, but uh, it isn't gonna work very well. So you thread that on there, if you're lucky. <laughs> there we go. Once you get it started, you push this back up so that you're actually riding on it and you can see it's threading into the coupling. Once you get it in there so far, it goes pretty easy. All right, so we're going to squeeze this down a little bit, and it makes the rubber bigger, so it will fit in our two-inch piece of PVC. Now your caulking gun's got a little lever on the back. You pull that down. These, this is a die I use for handles. This is actually cut out of the top of a... Um, press on 
three or five gallon bucket. Where is it? Hang on one sec, I'll go find the top of it that I cut them out of. There it is. It's a five gallon bucket. Press on, you know, real easy. This one was broken or I cut it or something. So I can, uh, I cut those out of there using a hole cutter. It's an adjustable hole cutter and it cuts them out. Um, you don't have to have this, you can cut them out with a, with a uh, piece of tin snips. Um, then the hole itself, any shape you want to have, I have several of them. This is a little triangular thing I make uh, teapot handles with. And this is a handle I use for my, uh, the die I use to make the handles on my uh, coffee mugs. So, um, that's really, I don't do a lot of hand building with dies, but you can make, I did use uh, washers behind one of these and made, uh, made some, I have some other dies over here. Okay, so there's a, you know, just a quarter inch, uh, going to make quarter inch coils. There's three eighth inch coils. Here is a die I made on a 3D printer to make test tiles. Um, anyway, you get the idea. You just cut them out. So that's that. So we take our tube. I'm my Take the, uh, the tube and the cap, and you just drop your die down in, in the cap. And slip this thing on there. So your die is in the end of the cap there. This is, now you're, it's just like a caulking gun from here on in. Slip this in here, past the uh, plunger, and run some uh, clay through there. So, well, they want to see some clay go through there. So, I will load this up real quick. Very simple. Um, I'm not going to load it up with very much, but this will make probably uh, 15 to 20 mug handles on one load if you use, if you fill it up mostly full. I'm not going to do that right now, but so we just make a cylindrical tube there, push it down in our uh, makeshift extruder tube there we go you'll get if you you'll get better at uh, maybe <laughs> maybe we won't okay so I've got some clay in here right in there slip this in run this down You can just shove that down if you're strong enough. And you, there, bottomed out. You see the clay right there? I'm gonna turn this around. Well, normally what I do, I work in my studio has a garage door. So, there's my extruder up here. And I'll get behind it so you can see it come out. It, when it first comes out, it, it wants to curl, but once it gets a little bit of weight to it, it'll just extrude out whatever length you want. So, and normally what I do, how I do these, I think I just showed you a video, 
there's my handle and I will like to work with seven inches of clay and a handle so I just lay the uh, my measuring tool right behind it seven inches long and I normally I set those on a bat and uh, just give me some do some more Oh, getting kind of crazy there. I normally have two hands on that, so. Anyway, so then another seven inch handle. And you you crank these out all day long. So that's how I made my extruder. Uh, got everything at a big box store. You probably recognize the color of the uh, handle. If you don't, there's a label on it, so. You guys can figure out where I got it, but uh, there's my little handheld extruder. So, hope you enjoyed that. I will uh, talk to you later. I gotta get back to work. I'll talk to you later. Bye.